<sighs> What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Hammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and it's round two, ETC Athens. God, I've been waiting for this, and we're going against France. Now, I'm going to say it like the American Chicago, and I am the France. So, uh, <laughs> we're going against France, and um, this, this army, this team of guys right here in this picture is the third best team in the country. They actually got third place. They were stone cold killers all right and i'm going to give you a little spoiler alert now because i mean it doesn't really matter you're not going to see it in my video right now they wiped the floor with my whole american side of the team i mean we went in there uh pretty confident we're like we got decent matchups we got decent matchups and everybody just came back like oh man i got smoked oh, i got smoked and uh the one guy zach uh he was actually doing okay and then my brother was like we need to push for more points zach pushed for more points and he got smoked so France is a very formidable opponent. Now I'm going against Jonathan Humbler uh, Shill. Now Jonathan, um, he's one of their best. I think he is their best player they have on the team. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but quote me if I'm right. All right. <laughs> but he's their best player on their team. He's uh, if you go on the tourney keeper, his uh, his name is Triple X X X X, um, and he scored one of the highest of their team. Um, now you're gonna see his army. Now we we had a conversation about his army, and uh, first thing first thing I would like to point out. First off, I do like the colors, by the way. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is he refused refused to play with two sets of dice. If I play with my dice, he plays with my dice, or if he plays with his dice, I have to play with his dice. So we're all on the same page on which dice we're using. Jonathan was a cool guy. He gave me one of his uh his France dice and the France dice had a chicken on it and I was just like holy shit more chickens so now I'm up to three chicken dice by the way I got a chicken head uh, with the king on it the crown on it and that was given to me by uh, Chris Mintz I got a thundercock given to me by Jack and then I got a France dice that has a, a chicken holding a hammer this is fucking awesome I just need to keep collecting chicken dice anyways <laughs> So I decided, you know what, dude, I'm very partial about my dice. I'm going to use my dice. Let's just do it. So he's like, all right, cool. We both use our dice. So basically I had to grab a handful, split them up. He got half, I got half, whatever. We're just going to go with it. Um, as you can see here, this is his army. He didn't have, now this is the biggest shocker here to me, was he didn't have any blocks. No blocks. He had scoring units. He had that small unit of 13 warriors with great weapons. That's his scoring unit. He had two units of bar barbarian horsemen uh, that were like extra armor so they get lose the light troops thing and they get uh, scoring with the banner. And then he had everything else was like fast cav and stuff. So this is one of the pictures here. Um, over here you can see this This is where all his points are, are these characters, okay? The one on the right is like a super fighty general guy. Not his general though, it's like a super fighty lord. And this guy's just meant to just like shred everybody. He's lore of change, or not lore, mark of change. So he could change from divine attacks to flaming attacks to whatever he wants. The guy in the middle is his BSB, also mark of change. Also, everybody has a four up ward. He found some item that gives him a plus one to boost his ward save um, on one of the guys. So he has a five up ward to boost it to a four. The other guy has the four up regen with the two up uh, uh, dragon helm. And then his general also has a four up ward. Um, his shaman or his wizard, excuse me, his sorcerer is also on a steed. He's lore of shadow, level four, I believe. Um, he has one of those Shogoth guys, the ancient uh, whatever guys. He has a second one over here. He has five Hell Striders. Uh, he has some more chaff on that side, and then he has his general with the Hot Wheels. <laughs> I'm just gonna call his general Hot Wheels, man, because that's all I saw every time I took a picture. It was just Hot Wheels, it was just like. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so Hot Wheels there is another guy he's just like strength eight he's coming in he gets like freaking eight attacks or some shit crazy it's just nuts all right so we were talking about his army and he's like listen my army's made to this is after the, the fact he's like my army's made to 20 and 0 or 0 and 20 but that's about it um as you can see obviously there's no war machines because he's a warrior uh of the humbler gods um and uh i'm gonna start calling him warrior of the hot wheel gods like that um and <laughs> Um, and as you can see, it's just like he's he's made to just get in your face. Everything is fast. Everything is mounted. There's nothing slow in his army except for that one block. And for magic, he ended up getting shadow step, shadow miasma, and turn to smoke, and that's it. So he's a level two. Oh shit! All right. Um, over here, I got um, fix it up, 
sneaky uh, slicing, the great green hand, and oi no dying. Now usually I replace the great green hand for rerolls to hit and stuff like that. Um, just because it's such an expensive spell to get off the great green hand. But at this t point in this game, I'm looking at it like, this guy's going to be right in my face turn one, tur turn two. I need to move my guys around. I need to have that option to move around, okay? So... Um, he dropped everything first. He dropped his whole army first. Now, if you don't know what I brought to the table, I'm going to try to sum it up really quick. I got two two Gargantula spiders. I have a big block of, of regular orcs with spears. I have eight cave trolls. And then I have two units of goblins with fanatics and a couple chaff guys and nasher dashers. I believe that's it. All right. So turn one, uh, warriors of the Hot Wheel gods. All right. So first thing he's doing, he's moving up his chaff. Um, I think this is vanguards actually still. <laughs> so he's vanguarding up here. Um, and so turn one, he ends up figuring out, like, well, I got fanatics. He needs to, for me to pop my fanatics. So he runs his wolves right here in front of my goblins. Like, throw out those, uh, throw out that fanatic you got going on, buddy. And he just starts moving up his whole army. And as you can see, he's marking his places with my dice. And it's just kind of like, <sighs> it's like boiling under my skin. Like, you're touching my dice, dude. Um. <laughs> not really it didn't really bother me to be honest i thought it was kind of funny because he was so like we're gonna play with your dice or we're gonna play with my dice he just doesn't trust the fact that you know some people and i get it in a very competitive scene some people probably cheat i am not one of those cheaters <laughs> but uh but uh we'll go on about that anyway <laughs> So he's moving up his guys like so, right? And he's just, that, that's a very straightforward strategy. He's coming right at me, man. Uh, I piled all my guys on the right side. Um, I left my goblins on the left side because the goblins were... I think I think this is the one where we have to take more banners. So I was kind of leaving the goblins on the left side, like hoping that either he's going to uh, move his guys to that side or he's going to come and focus on my guys on the right side and my goblins will stay alive. Anyways, magic phase... Got six. He got six powered. I excuse me, um, and he uses Shadow Miasma onto my Wolf Rider. Now I let this go because it's not going to harm my Wolf Rider by any means, and I was more worried about getting a turn to smoke on, which is going to be a remaining play spell. So he gets it off, gives me minus three, whatever movement or weapon skill or some shit like that. But he really did it so he could Shadow Step and move one of his Hot Wheels closer, and uh, that's what he ends up doing. Uh, he did miscast. That was the other thing. He rolled double sixes on like two dice or three dice. So I'm like, take it, dude. I don't care. And he. Uh, uh, he ends up getting a small uh, uh, small vortex or whatever this is right here. But I think it killed like one Hellstrider and that was it. And it's going to go ahead and start off turn one, Orcs and Goblins. Turn one, Orcs and Goblins. So he was expecting me to release my Fanatic on my shooting phase. But you know what? I'm like, charge! I don't have to go ahead and release my Fanatic. <laughs> I was like, I am not. That is one thing. I was like, dude, he has a bunch of mounted stuff. I need to save my fanatics for when I need my fanatics. So I charge in with the goblins. I was like, and he's just like, oh, man, I, I played that one wrong. So then I go ahead and I charge in with chicken head here. I'm just like, you know what? I can't. Um, those goblins probably won't win the combat, to be honest. Just be honest. So I charged him with chicken head, hoping that like, he could finish off the dogs. And uh, this is a very blurry picture, but that they both get in. Uh, magic phase got eight power dice. And the first thing I do is I throw up Oi No Dying onto my orcs. Um, I did this um, just in case. Why did I do this? Just in case I get into combat or something like that. I forgot why. But I was just like, you know what? It was like it was one of those things. I really didn't have any magic spells that were like range spells. And there was nothing really good to throw out, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to throw Oid Don't Dying right here on these guys just in case they get in combat. Who knows? Whatever, right? Um, then I go ahead and I throw up Sneaky Stabbing. Now, I did this one because I actually wanted Armor Piercing on the Web Launcher, and I was going to try to hit one of those uh, units of Horsemen or something like that, right? And I get it off, but I get double sixes on two dice. <laughs> So I take a miscast. Both my wizards take damage. Uh, that kind of sucks. And then the one spell I really wanted to do, which I think was uh, fix it, uh, or no, the the hand of Gork. Well, I did ran out of dice because I miscast. Anyways, magic or magic shooting phase. Shooting phase. I'm gonna shoot my rock lobbers. The first one gets a direct hit on the right Shogoth over here. I get it. I hit it. I wound it. But I only do two wounds. Um, he starts using rubber bands as wound counters. Um, Shoot the second one, second one, second one misfires and faces this way, and then those two web launchers didn't do a goddamn thing. Um, 
for my deployment, I'm sorry I don't have a picture of the deployment actually, but the deployment I ended up putting both my spiders on the right side to deal with one Shogoth. I, did, I put the trolls protecting the left flank from the second Shogoth and I put my orcs right in the center even though it's all in the right corner. And then I have one unit of goblins just chilling back because I don't want them to die. If they go out there they will die. The other one was far off because I told you why. Uh, close combat. Close combat over here. He ends up killing off one of my, one of my goblins. My goblins go, swing, they kill off like one dog, chicken head goes, kills off three dogs. Yes, that just happened. They didn't kill all the dogs. <laughs> oh, shit. So, <laughs> so since, since they didn't kill the dog, um, he's running away. Okay, because I got a charge flank, big flank banner, four, four wounds to his one, right? <laughs> uh, he's running away, and I fail my uh, pursuit check. So my goblins are chasing, and not only that, but chicken heads chasing. So they're gonna turn like ass hats and go this way, <laughs> you know, center to center, <laughs> like ass hats that way. <laughs> and they end up like so. Obviously, I didn't even catch the fucking dog. The dog not only played chaff, but played chaff twice, because now he's chaffing up my own orcs and goblins. And it gives him like a wall where he could just move up for a turn. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to go ahead and start off. Turn two, Warriors of the Dark Gods. Now, here's a good one. He ch he charges here into my goblins. Center to center, when I turn center to center from his guys, I will run past my orcs. But because how wide the goblins are, and they need an inch away from the orcs, they will touch literally the tip of the table. And he called it out. He knew it. He knew it. He's like, well, I got a flank. I might as well charge it. And I'm looking at it like, all right, even if I like finagle this where I don't fall off the table, my fanatic's way back there. And I was just kind of like, either way, I'm throwing away a unit. Either way. If I run away, I'm throwing away a unit. And if I don't run away, I'm throwing away a unit, right? From this angle right here, honestly, in this picture right here, it looks like I could actually stay on the table. I, I, When we were playing it, we looked it over, over, and over. It's the corner of the goblins would touch like basically the tip of the orcs and the angle it would be it they would fall off the table trust me i was there <laughs> so i was like well if i'm just throwing away a unit i might as well just hold <laughs> i'm like i might as well make them work for it i'm not gonna freaking just uh i mean yes i can flee yes i'll throw away my unit he'll get an easy 100 points he'll lose i'll lose my banner right away but if i just stand there there's a possibility he's not gonna kill all 19 goblins that are left I'll run away, he'll chase, and they'll put him closer to me. So I was just like, you know what, I'll hold. And he was just kind of like shocked that I was like, I'm just going to stand there. And he's like, okay. So this guy fucking rallied. Who fucking knew? Whatever. Anyways. Um, and basically he moves up his, his chariots. Of course he gets in. He moves up his Hellstriders. His Hellstriders have like some quick attack shit, whatever it is. And then he just starts moving up all his units, right? Like so. He's just getting right in my grill. It's cool. So uh, there's a lot of pictures of him moving moving but basically here's the end picture right here this is the last picture he got from moving anyways magic phase got eight power dice he goes ahead he does shadow miasma on these guys i let it go again because again i don't care he lowers their weapon skill by a little bit but what he really wanted to do was move his chariot boom over a little bit more with a shadow step he does um and then shooting phase uh while well, he tried to do turn to smoke i stop it then he goes shooting phase shooting phase he ends up um shooting his whips over here kills off one of my uh nashers i can no longer do d three times two impact hits. Um, over here, um, he ends up killing only four goblins. Only four. Of course I'm going to break. Um, they run. And not only do they run, they only run like, well, from center to center. They end up running like eight or nine inches, but they fall short of passing up my trolls. And they end up right in front of my face of my trolls, which ends up chaffing me for a turn. And it's going to start off turn two, orcs and goblins. And here you go. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Come on, you fuckers. Come on, man. So, that's how the table looks right now, man. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm not scared. I'm not scared of his chariots. I'm not scared of his horses. I got, I'm the anti-cavalry army. That's the only role I saw myself as in my, in my team. My team, they're like, you know, who would you do against, good against? And I'm like, dude, the only list I see that I have no problem with is cavalry. And this is all I see on this table is cavalry. I got spears and trolls. What else do you need, right? So I'm going to charge the orcs in because why not? 
that dog's in my way. I'm gonna charge the orcs, and the orcs aren't scared. He can hit me with everything he has. He can't break my steadfast. I'll be fine, right? I charge, or uh, the trolls, or sorry, the, the goblins rally. Can't do shit with them. I don't charge the Nashers in. I think the reason I didn't charge the Nashers in was because I wanted to, um, I didn't want to take those quick fire things again. And he, I was expecting him to just kill me if I did. Um, I don't remember why I did that though. I don't know why I just didn't charge in. Maybe because of DTs. I don't remember why I didn't charge in. I should have just charged in. I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. I always think of it afterwards. Now, his Shogoth on the top right, what I ended up doing was using the Onion Knight, and I put him right in front to chaff him up, and I'm just going to use this opportunity to get my spiders out of there. So the spiders are coming up to the side. They're, they're now in the flank, threatening the flank of everything, right? And that's the crazy part. Um, and I'm not too worried about the Shogoth at this moment because he has to waste a turn killing my, my uh, Onion Knight. Now, once he does my spider should be out of the range so magic phase got seven power dice go ahead and i throw up four dice into the great green hand he dispels scrolls it and then he's gonna go ahead and stop my oi no dying um so shooting phase well my goblins rallied they're in eight inches i'm like awesome i use as you can see i use chicken head as chaff on his chariots and i'm just like all right let's do this i'm gonna throw that fanatic through i'm gonna aim it directly in the tip before chicken head it hits chicken head Go through those chariots, hopefully pop out behind those guys, pop out the other guys. We'll see how this goes, right? And I roll it, and I roll like a fucking five. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell? This is my luck this whole game, by the way. Uh, I go for a web launcher. I end up hitting the mounted horseman here, just aiming it direct center at something because it's like just center mass. And I end up killing one of the horsemen. They get DTs. Not really going to matter too much. I'm going to shoot my Rock Lobber into his Shogoth again. Direct hit round two. Get another two to three wounds. Looks like two. So I got four wounds on him. He has two wounds left. Now he's just not even really scary. He's kind of like a little fluffy bear now. All right. Over here, my general just kills this dog. And we actually overrun. And the reason I'm overrunning is because his chariot will be chaffed by chicken head if I overrun so it doesn't really matter if I overrun right um, that's th that was part of the reason why I put chicken head there was because I was already like looking ahead of this overrun I'll probably hit his mounted horseman there which is a scoring unit right so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna need like an eight or a nine and BAM got it <laughs> just barely got it holy shit I actually was able to squeeze through too which is even nuts um, but uh yeah, so I'm like, all right, cool. Chicken head will hold my, hold my flank. We'll see how this goes. Um, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, he could charge chicken head, obviously. But then once he clears chicken head and, and overruns into my orcs, he's probably going to freaking turn sideways and hit my, my uh, fanatic. So I was just like, all right. So um, we're going to go into his turn. Uh, Warriors of the Humbler Gods, turn three, I think this was. He's charging his Shogoth here. He's charging his Hellstriders here. I already knew this was going to happen. I don't even know why I didn't charge those guys. All right. This is a big, like, hindsight 2020 kind of a deal, too, is if I did charge those guys and when they stuck in combat, his general wouldn't be able to move because his general is being chaffed by them. But since he, I didn't, um, he's going to charge, and he's what it does is it's going to loosen up his general. Um, as you can see, this is kind of how the table looks overhead. But he's going to charge his general into the flank of the trolls, okay? Now, I'm, like, not too worried about it. I'm still in my general's bubble. I'm exactly 12 inches away from my general. I think not 12 from my BSB, but it won't matter too much. We'll see how this goes anyways. Um, and then he decides he's going to charge chicken head. And when I thought about this, I was like, all right, listen. If he does charge my flank, if he does charge my flank of my orcs, he's going to have to turn. He's going to take the 2D... Uh, 2d6 strength 5 hits from the fanatic it'll fuck up some of the chariot I do have spears I'll kill those horsemen I'll have 3 ranks 2 banners whatever even if he hits me and does a shit ton of wounds I can make or I could uh, I'll win I'll reform combat facing them and they're gonna he's gonna lose his BSB and his combat lord to my spears so I'm like alright you know what fuck it chicken head's gonna flee so chicken head flees boom books it <laughs> oh man so now um, not only that, it looks like my goblins booked it. Where are my goblins? Oh, he tried to charge somebody else into the goblins. I think that's what it was. I think his general charged the goblins, and I booked it first. Then he's going to redirect his general into my trolls. 
then he's charging those guys in anyways so my goblins booked it as you can see here chicken head booked it right and I'm like, all right, let's see what happens. So he goes ahead and he redirects into my trolls with his two chariots. And I'm like, there's no way he could avoid it. He's getting hit by a fanatic, right? So that's going to happen. He tries to charge the freaking warriors into the trolls. Now that's where it gets kind of like, oh, fuck, right? But the warriors do have great weapons and they will take up ma um, maximizing models to a different level. So I'm like, all right, cool. He fails with the warriors, all right? He gets in with all three chariots into the trolls. I don't have a picture of it, but just trust me, it happened. All right. <laughs> so then he starts moving up his Shogoth on this side over here. He's not worried about my spiders. I don't. I think he's out of my line of sight right now. Um, and then he hits the fanatic. Boom! Fanatic does two wounds onto the Lord, and I believe it did one wound onto the BSB. Um, these guys get in. The Shogoth gets in. Uh, his and they had to take DTs. That was the other thing I wanted him to do. His general. Uh, gets in over here to the flank everybody gets in yeah the bsb did take a wound everybody gets in like so all right magic phase he got 11 power dice he goes ahead and he does shadow miasma on these guys over here i don't care he can do all the shadow miasma he wants he lowers my weapon skill though so i can't really attack his uh hell striders as effectively uh and that's about it i stop his turn to smoke close combat he kills off two of the nashers he whiffs like big time and when he grabs all the dice he rolls on the dice like so confident that he's gonna fuck up my gnashers and he rolls like one 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 two 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 and i was like those are my dice those are my dice you're using <laughs> he looked at me and he's like i don't know about your dice man <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like exactly those are the dice that you think i'm cheating with those things are pieces of shit <laughs> i'm sorry dice i don't mean to call you pieces of shit Oh, uh, man. So my Nashers go back. They end up killing off two Hell Striders. I lose combat. I'm going to run. I'm like leadership five or whatever it is. So he overruns, and he overruns this way. And he's basically chaffing himself up with his own uh, general. He doesn't really have much room to wheel now, but it's okay. Um, man, I lost my spot. Where am I? Okay, right there. All right. So close combat over here. My orcs just destroy his horsemen. Of course they do. All right. I'm going to reform center to center, and I pick it up, and I'm basically – he's giving me the finger there. But anyways – he moves his other chaff right there to the side because he knows I'm coming in trying to help my trolls when I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and reform facing this way. Now, as you can see, this is how the combat looks. This is like, this is the central location. This is where everything happens right now. Okay. So his general goes, all right. And his general does all these attacks and swings and he only scores one wound. And I'm not kidding. He only scores one wound because I regen like a mofo. All right. But then these two bastards start going. And these two bastards have lore of change or mark of change and they do flaming attacks and holy hell holy hell oh my god as you can see I lost a total of four trolls and that's probably after like impact hits and characters and horses and all that crap goes I lose four trolls he did a shit ton of attacks and he just freaking annihilated four trolls and did an additional two wounds. He kicked my ass. I'm like, you know what? I got four trolls going back. I'm just going to puke. So I puke. I do one wound onto the Lord that went through. And I think I did one wound to the BSB. But it, I think he might have war saved the BSB. <sighs> he was like, holy shit. I needed to kill two more. He did need to kill two more. But because he didn't kill those last two trolls. I am steadfast. I stick. And I am looking at it like this, and you guys can see it from my perspective right here. He reforms his guys to face this way, and he's just like, shit, that orc horde is coming down. I am coming down. That simple. All his characters are on my trolls. All right? I'm charging. It should technically be a downhill charge. It's not a downhill charge. We had an argument about this. When the ref came. The ref said, not all my models got off the hill, so it's not downhill. But I'm charging into his horsemen. I'll overrun, I'll hit his freaking Lord character, and I'll have three ranks, two banners, charge, and then a flank, and then whatever amount of wounds I could do, right? And he knows it. He knows it. And he's like, shit. 
So right now I'm like, my brother's walking by, he's looking at it, and I'm like, dude, this is this is gonna be a twenty and zero right here because I'm already thinking ahead of time like his general's gonna run, my trolls need to chase his general. I got he has no he's not gonna be steadfast, he's not gonna do shit. I'm gonna be able to break this unit right now. I'm gonna be able to break the game right now. I got this right. I gotta kill those mounted horsemen first though. So it's gonna go ahead and start off turn three orcs and goblins. Here it goes, charging into the chaff. He has to take it like a man, right? I. Start moving my spider around everybody because my spider needs to. My spider. A Rock's next goal is to take out those great weapon guys, right? That's my next goal. I'm already thinking ahead. Chicken Head rallied. Uh, the goblins rallied. I leave Chicken Head back there. I don't use Chicken Head as chaff right now because I need to figure out what's going to happen with this combat in the following turn. And I might need to use Chicken Head as chaff later for that Shogoth. So. Everything's cool like this. I move my goblins and my A-Rock facing the Shogoth so I can keep my war machines alive. I'm moving my goblins close enough to his Shogoth on that side so I could release my fanatic and just throw it. And hopefully that fanatic finishes off the two wounds I need. Right? I mean, the thing's only like tough five, I think. Maybe tough six. But whatever. I just... One fanatic should be able to do the two wounds. That simple. Right? Uh, so this is how it looks. Right? And I'm moving that A-Rock around. I'm like, I got this i got this magic phase got nine power dice it's a great magic phase i he has no dispel scroll he has none right so first thing i do is i throw up sneaky stabbing because it was like super easy to do like a, a two to cast you know like two dice to cast whatever right get it off he lets it go through then i go ahead and i throw up oh you know dying and that one goes through i use my attribute and i give my trolls i didn't give my trolls it. i think i gave my orcs it like rerolls one to wound in combat right great all right so i got magic spells I got a ward save on my on my orcs, right? I I got this, guys. I got this. I thinking back about it, I probably should give the ward save to the trolls. But anyways, shooting phase. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this fanatic out, and I get double ones. Automatically dies as soon as it rolls out. And for those guys who are about to leave a comment saying doubles don't matter on the first turn, that's an eighth edition uh, other co company rule. That is not a ninth edition rule. Ninth edition, ninth age basically doubles even on the come out kills your damn God, fanatic ha ah, stupid fanatic man well the good news is i still have my a rock there my a rock should be able to handle the shogoth right um shooting phase i shoot my freaking rock lobber into the shogoth on the left side it drifts 10 inches and it ends up in my perspective on the line on his general <laughs> he's like no 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 so he pulls out his tape measure he's looking at it and he goes it ends up on your troll and i'm like no 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 you guys you center to center it's on your guy and he's like no 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 and we're going back and forth back and forth and i was like dude i think this is just one of those situations you need to get a ref in so we're like okay so we call out a ref and we're like hey yo dude come over here check this out and we're like is it hitting my guy or is it hitting his guy so he the ref comes out he's looking at the arrow and he's like it's over here and we're, he's like aiming at some totally different direction and we're like dude we both agree that it's headed this way hitting our guys all right we're not saying it's going way up there <laughs> we're just trying to say is it on my guy or his guy and he's like i don't know that's right on the line so somebody else comes by and they're looking at it and they're like i don't know that's right on the line so we basically diced off on it and it hit my troll i freaking uh regen saved it didn't even matter <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. It was so so stupid. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, close combat. He uses his barbarian horseman to kill off two of my my shaman and my uh, one of my orcs. All right, which is actually pretty smart by him. My shaman only had one wound remaining because uh, I took a miscast earlier. So I'm gonna overrun. I overrun and I hit his block. And I am not gonna. Well, I actually could show you. So here's the next picture. Okay. My orcs hit the block. All right. He challenges with the character that had one wound remaining. Okay. Now, that guy has mark a change. This is, I'm sorry, this picture, you're going to be stuck on this picture for a while because there's a story to explain here. He has mark a change. My brother, who is the coach, called out my timeout earlier because he thought I was going to get rear charged by the A-Rock by some guys hiding behind the building and I was like no no those guys are, are chaff that was a waste of the timeout so I can't use the timeout right now he's challenging me with this guy who's strength 8 or strength 7 with the mark of change who has a better weapon skill than my general so he's hitting me on 3's wounding me on 2's 
Okay, and he'll probably give, give himself divine attacks. So technically, he should kill my general. Okay, I don't want to lose my general now because if I lose my general now, um, even though I'm, I, this is very favorable combat for me, very, very, very favorable combat, I would, um, you know, I would uh, potentially lose it. You know, or I'll lose my general, which is a lot of points. Okay, and I'm like, I already got a charge. I got big ranks, flanks, all that crap. I got a flank. I got a banners, all that crap. Right? I should have. I should win this, and I should not. Should not uh, lose my general right but if I answer with a champ he's gonna get four wounds on my champ and he's gonna start helping out his uh, combat res right I need to kill these guys I need to kill them that's it right so I mean I contemplated giving my, him my champ but if he does that I can't even kill that one guy that one guy will live because he'll be out of combat and my whole orc horde on the right side will not um, technically be in combat okay they, they can't attack anybody because it's not core to core, it's core to characters, and it's other characters way back there. So I decline it. I really didn't, like, I was just like, I don't know. Like, technically my general isn't in the spot where he's at right now. He's supposed to be closer to the goblin because I made way to kill those horsemen. We, he, Him and I both know this, okay? So I decline it, and he accepts it with, or he technically quote end quote pushes my BSB back so my BSB is no longer uh, usable in this combat I didn't make way because I don't want my general even touched by his freaking combat lord his blender lord right so he goes ahead and he decides well I'm going to put all my attacks onto the trolls and he goes back to flaming attacks and he does a couple attacks his general goes kills off one of the trolls dead like three wounds right or two wounds right my guys go lethal strike kill the guy that was there but that guy only had one wound. Okay? Now, I gotta go back a picture or so. That's interesting. Hmm. That's really interesting. I think that his BSB took himself out of combat, unfortunately. And that shouldn't have happened. Anyways. So he goes ahead and he attacks with all his character stuff and like that. And he ends up doing, like, a total of... I had two wounds on one guy. Alright, so that's two there. Uh, to kill one. He did eight wounds. Okay, so he did eight wounds total. And I knew this. I don't know why I had to do the math to this, okay? He did eight wounds. I did one because that guy only had one remaining. I used the trolls to try to puke on the BSB. The BSB the ward saves it, no problem. So now, let's do the math here really quick, guys. I got a charge. I got three ranks. Two banners. So far, that's six. I have one wound. That is seven. I have a flank. That is eight. He did eight wounds to my trolls, and he has a flank and a BSB. I lost combat. Okay, I didn't lose that bad, but I don't have a BSB. Okay, so my trolls are on a leadership seven now. Okay, and my orcs are on a leadership uh, nine because they're steadfast. I roll the dice, the trolls get a six. Great, the one troll is going to sit there. I roll the dice for my general, I roll an 11. He can't chase me because he stuck to the troll, which was part of the part, part, reason why I did the troll first. Uh, well, because if my general ran, then the troll would run anyways, because my trolls are freaking retarded. Um, so my orcs run. That fucking sucks. I... I I can't even explain it. He knows. He knows for a fact. He was doing the yes motion. He knows for a fact that he dodged a bullet there. He dodged a huge bullet there. And he was trying to tell me, oh, no, the trolls or the my orcs were in trouble in the next turn. And I'm like, dude, I already killed his combat lord. Even if his, his guys charge in, even if his, his warriors that were right there charge in on this turn, they have great weapons. I'm going to freaking destroy a chunk of them before they get to touch me, right? So... And his general stuck with my troll. So even if that happened, right? But then, of course, that causes a panic. So my goblins start to run. They run over there. They turn off one of the war machines. The war machine can't shoot. Chicken head runs. Chicken head runs over there. So this whole domino effect on this side just happened, right? And it's going to start off his turn. And guess what? You see this fucker right here? This fucker right here was the only one looking that way charges it to my orcs and pushes my orcs off the fucking table son of a bitch man <laughs> 
Oh, man! Son of a fucking bitch. And because that Shogoth was there, it pushed me off the table. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's going to redirect his guy into my A-Rock. All I can do is stand and shoot, which that doesn't matter. His shadow freaking Glord has like a two-up armor. He's going to get in here. He's going to start moving his guys around. And it's, it, it's dominoes from here, guys. It is dominoes from here. He knew it was a 20-0 my way, and it just flipped over to 20-0 his. He moves his Shogoth all the way around. I didn't even bother moving my orcs. Everybody thought the orcs were still alive on the table. And I know the orcs are dead. I'm just going to leave them there. Um, but uh, I think, actually, I needed to do breakthrough. I had to go to his side of the table. It didn't matter, though. Uh, so his two guys are still on my frickin' troll. His Hellstriders are coming from my War Machine. His Shogoths are coming from my War Machine. His Great Weapon Warriors turn around and face my A-Rock. My other A-Rock's basically stuck on that side. <sighs> Man, Magic Phase, he got five power dice. He goes ahead, he throws up Shadow Miasma. I don't care. Uh, he goes ahead, he does his impact hits, does one wound. Goes ahead and swings, he does two more wounds, which are like lucky strength four hits that went through. I go ahead and I swing back. I think I did one wound to his, his Shadow uh, Lord there. But uh, I end up sticking, actually. I passed the Leadership 6 test. Okay. Um, over here, he ends up finishing off my troll. Now his freaking Hot Wheels are loose. And, uh, yeah, that's how the table looks right now. So let's go start off Orcs and Goblins, turn 4. <laughs> Orcs and Goblins, turn 4. I turn my A-Rock around because I'm just like, you know what? He's going for my War Machines. I might be able to attack one of his uh, Shogoths or something like that. Shooting phase. I'm going to shoot the web launcher from the chicken rock onto his three guys over here. It hits. Direct hit. And it actually kills all three. <laughs> oh, my God. At least something happened. All right. Over here, close combat. He starts doing more wounds to my guy. We're trying to reform, do whatever. I did one wound to him. He did one wound to me. We're going to stick there in combat. Um, and it's going to start off his turn. Uh, warriors of the humbler. Uh, warriors of the hot wheel gods. Turn Five. Uh, he's charging both the Shogoths into my War Machines. He's charging his guys over here into my Goblins. <laughs> and I'm like, stand and shoot. And he's like, all right, go ahead. And I shoot two of those freaking Mounted Horsemen down. And they end up dying. And they end up panicking. <laughs> and they run the other way. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. He's charging the Warriors into the A-Rock. Can't do nothing about it. Connects in like so. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And basically, he gets in, gets in, gets in like this, right? Uh, magic phase, uh, you got five power dice. Goes ahead and he uh, does Shadow Miasma on this guy. I don't know why he keeps, he just does Shadow Miasma all the time. I don't know. Um, he uh, Close combat over here. He ends up racking up a couple wounds onto the A-Rock. The A-Rock goes, kills off one guy. Thunder Stomp goes, kills off a bunch of guys. But he's going to go ahead and swing with his great weapons and kill me off. Um, actually, his general was in there too, actually. So he ends up killing me off like so. He's going to start off turn five. Orcs and goblins. At this point, it's already a 20 and no, I can't do anything about it. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. I'm going to try to go ahead. It was breakthrough. It wasn't banners. It was breakthrough. So I'm going to go ahead and use my chicken rock as a block to try to get my goblins to go across the table and get, you know, get the objective. I still have two turns to get to the other side. His other guys are still fleeing. And if I could get away, I could get away. So I'm just going to make a, a run for it. I'm just running with the goblins. I'm using the chicken rock as a block, right? Um, so basically, uh, he's going to charge in. He's going to charge in on his turn. He's charging in with both chariots. Not even his warriors. Both chariots and uh, three chariots. All right. So he's going to get in like so. But the thing is, the one thing is, as you can see, we removed it. We put the little cross there. That's where the chicken rock's supposed to be. He's charging his shadow uh, lord into my goblins. And he can clear the chicken rock. He can see them. And he's going to go ahead and do it. And boom! Gets into the flank. I tried, guys. I really tried. Ah, oh, man. His general goes in alone, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. His general and his uh, BSB are both into the chicken rock. Goes in, throws up Shadow Miasma. Can't even stop it. Goes in and starts doing impact hits. Does four wounds. Goes in and swings. Kills off the chicken rock. This guy ends up killing off a couple of these guys. I try to pass my steadfast check, and they fail, and they pop. Son of a bitch, guys. Wow. That was a game. I, the whole night, the whole night after this game, I kept saying, I don't feel like I played a bad game. I don't. I felt like I played a pretty good game. That freaking Leadership 9 Steadfast roll fucked me. That really did fuck me. That sucked. 
Oh, man, that sucked. And I was just like, I would I would have played it the same way. I would have played it the same exact way again. If I had the opportunity, I would do it again. Um, the only thing I, that we talked about it, this is well, this was mentioned on my last video. Somebody says, do you ever go home and try to uh, dice it out and see how it came out? So we talked about it, and what ended up happening is we we're like, you know, he was like, oh my god, would have killed your your general? And I was like, let's check, let's let's test it out. So we rolled the dice, and he only got one wound that went through my ward save. He only got one wound on my general. That sucks. And my general got one wound through to kill him. Oh, that sucks. That would have made a huge difference because that would have made the market change change into divine attacks and my trolls would have been fine. They wouldn't have gotten hit with flaming attacks and yeah. That would have changed combat and I should have took it with my general. I should have took it with my general and I didn't. Oh man. <laughs> it's heartbreaking to me because I had it in my hands. I had it in my grasp. Oh man. And not only that, but the fanatics really didn't help me much. They freaking didn't kill the Shogoth. The Shogoth didn't kill the, hit the chariots when I wanted them to hit the chariots. I mean, yeah, it did a couple wounds, but whatever. Man, that sucks. Anyways, guys. Jonathan's a great player. He's again, like when I like I said, he's one of the best players they have in France. And he was telling me, he's like, dude, my list was made to get a twenty and zero or an zero and twenty, and you almost had me at an zero and twenty. He knew I had him on the ropes. He was sweating. He comes up to me, he shakes my hand, and he tells me, you have, you are a very talented player. And I was like, don't tell me that. Tell that to my coach because he doesn't believe me. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, uh, so. Uh, even though I got two losses in this day one, I'm thinking like, you know what though, we're in, not only that, the whole American team lost against France. F France kicked our ass. Okay, what the hell? Turn that off. Alright, uh, so France kicked our ass. Alright, so we had, a, we had a good day anyways. We still had fun. I'm still throwing out interviews out there. The interviews are great. I think, I think if you guys haven't watched any of the interviews at ETC, go watch them. They're freaking phenomenal. Oh man. Um, MVP. <laughs> Do I have an MVP? Oh, man. Let's see. Everybody messed up. <laughs> they couldn't even kill dogs right. Uh, the Orcord ran away. The only person who did what they were supposed to do was the trolls. And I'm going to give it to the trolls because the trolls did it steadfast. They made as many regions as they could. They freaking did as many pukes as they could. The trolls did. They were the, and they're and they're kind of getting... I wouldn't even call it the MVP. I will just call it... Let's see. What's the word I'm looking for? They did the job they were supposed to award, okay? So the guys who got the job that they were supposed to do award goes to the trolls. <laughs> they were the only ones who actually stuck in combat besides the A-Rock. Oh, man, that was brutal. That was such a brutal game. It was such a brutal, like, morale defeat to me because I, like, I had the guy on the ropes. Uh, anyways, guys. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, the, the job award goes to the trolls. Uh, so this is a picture right here. I gotta show you this picture right here. This is after the game. That's um. Oh man. That, well, on the right, that's Jeremy Gottschalk. On the left, that's actually Blonde Beer. The guy in the middle, I forgot his name, but we hung out like pretty much the whole weekend. The guy is wearing a robe and nothing else but that robe, and he's drinking out of this freaking bullhorn the whole weekend. He is a uh, freaking hilarious. Um, we ended up having pizza with him the next day. Um, or I think, no, it was, yeah, it was the next day. It was my brother and I. We had pizza with him and Herman Hart. Um, so, uh, guys, that's it for right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the points were for this game. And, again, the points are skewed because they didn't get everything they could have gone. Um, so, uh, the Orc block ended up killing 224 points of, of units. Uh, the A Rock ended up killing off 176 points, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, the Chicken Rock only did 45 from that one web launcher shot. Uh, the Rock Lobbers ended up doing uh, 154 for hitting the Shogoths and some other crap. The Cave Trolls ended up doing 191. Baxter and Kieran didn't do crap. Uh, the Goblins, uh, this is including the Fanatics, ended up doing 243 points. It was actually pretty decent. Nasher Herd did 30, and Chicken Head did 36. All right, guys. Well, the next game we got going against us is England. Now, the good news is we played a couple practice games against England, so we actually have some some knowledge of their armies, their play style, their tactics, and all that, and we understand that we're not going to give me Chris Lake because that is not a good matchup. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoy making them, and I will see you guys in the next video for ETC Round 3 versus England. And uh, that's all I got for you. Take care. 
Peace. And if you guys haven't hit like and subscribe, hit like and subscribe. And uh, I think that's about it. Anyways, um, guys, in my last video, I mentioned that I needed an Empire Mortar. mortar. Um, one of the uh, one of my fans has responded, and we got that coming my way. So, uh, guys, I appreciate all of your support to get out here, and I will see you guys next time. All right, for real this time. Peace.